Hey guys, uh, just to show you a little bit about some more in-depth frames per second, CPU stuff. Um, what we're looking at here is uh, I just bench the processor against my processor, like as a reference. So basically, when it's clocked, my processor is clocked at 4.4 gigahertz, okay, per core. As you can see here, it's a nice temperature and 4.4 gigahertz per core. It's all the same, okay? So let's bench it again against my processor and see what the, the speed is, if there's any gain. And I know there's gain because I just did it. The, uh, the constant speed of 4.4 gigahertz is, you know, it's running better on single thread apps by, eh, you know, over a hundred there and quite a bit more on multi-thread. Look at that. So that's just CPU Z. That's just a little bonus. Now, Afterburner in this graphics card, eh, <laughs> it's not recommended. I know that because of the tests I've done. So I, I use tricks now, only tricks. Let's, let's go 100% RPM there. We can go hardware monitor. <clears throat> We're going to be using Unreal Tournament 3 in 4K resolution. And if you don't believe my monitor is running 4K, I always do this. Show you guys a little bit about what I'm actually running. Let's go to Advanced. And there we have it. It is running at 4K. 4K res. High ass res stuff here. Okay. And... We're doing 1500 megahertz core, 1850 on the memory, because the 20 megahertz, in some instances, not all instances, can make the difference in, in, a, in the occasional, you know, once every hour crash or something. So what is stable with the memory overclocked is 1500 megahertz, not 1520. 1520 and 1750, is stable though. That's the standard overclock. I mean, that's just standard um, memory. It's not overclocked memory, but this is overclocked memory too. So we're we're like way above uh, standard RX 480 here. You know, I did the pass mark the last video. So the pass mark's been done. I'm using fraps now. Using fraps instead of uh, MSI Afterburner because, you know, uh, I, I couldn't find the setting for um, FPS counter in-game. I couldn't find it. So we're going to be using, that's my custom screen. <laughs> okay, so we're using Fraps. And what are we getting here? Oh, what's that? Unreal Tournament 3. Right off the bat, we're getting 60 frames per second, okay? So that's awesome. Now let's just see if we can maintain that. And just to show you guys, the resolution is actually um, 4K resolution in, in this game. This is not 1080p, this is 3840 times 21. 60 or whatever 4k is so let's try capture the flag let's try reflection next let's go and what are we at so far with all that running that I mean, that's a good test even right there but we're going to show you in game too but i mean look stuff's moving and we're looking at 60 frames solid 60 frames never drops Do I prefer running games with 1500 megahertz, 1850? 
I haven't really decided yet. I sometimes I I don't know if I get more performance. The performance is actually about the same between 1520 and 1750 mem and 1500 and 1850. The only difference is it allows a little bit more memory bandwidth for high uh, bandwidth games. This is not a high bandwidth game. This is a 2007 game, obviously. But even to run it at 4K resolution at a solid 60 frames, which which it is going to be running at because I've tested it already. Uh, you know, I mean, <laughs> so it's just insanely buttery smooth. 60 frames. I can't really get the camera to show you the 60, so let's just zoom out a bit and zoom in on that. Okay, we're running that. Still 60. Let's try moving around a little bit. Let's try shooting. That's me pointing the gun down. Okay, so... I mean, it's literally... Just... I don't know if you can see the 60. I can. So I have the camera tilted so you can kind of see the 60. It doesn't change. I can see it right now. It's not changing. It's not changing, not changing, not changing. What do I need to do to get it to change? Just go right up close to the guy and no. And just to prove that it is actually 4K. Six on the brightness. Yeah, so and just to prove that it doesn't crash, I don't think we need to worry about the frames per second that much um, anymore. Let's just see if this thing doesn't crash. I know it doesn't crash because I've tested it. I know what's stable and what isn't. 1500, 1850 stable, 1520, 1750 stable. So those are the stable. I'm just showing you that it doesn't crash at all. Just fast card. I mean, just the pass mark alone. I mean, I don't know if your experience is going to be like this because I don't know if it's going to be the same. You know, every card is a little bit different on the overclockability. But, I mean, on this particular card, it's insane because... How can an RX 470 have better performance than a standard uh, 480? That's puzzling me. But this card is just <laughs> amazing. Sapphire is really bringing it home on this card. So. Alright, that's that game. Um, maybe we want to see the FPS on Crisis 3. I'm pretty sure we do. <laughs> All right. So obviously we're not going to get even with this hefty ass overclock, we're not going to get Probably, I mean, I have never actually tried it. This is the first time I've tried with Fraps, so I don't even know the frames per second we're going to be getting. Well, <laughs> decent so far. It 
it's no doubt gonna dip eventually. I mean, once we get into the actual game, see there, it's dipping a bit. So yeah, it's gonna be, you know, probably, but again, we're on ultra here. We're totally on ultra. Station done. Enter the game. So what are we at here? We're at... Well, that is interesting, isn't it? We're at 60 frames per second on Ultra. On this overclock. <coughs> now it's going to dip. There, what are we at? Yeah, it went down to 30 here. 30 frames on, show you the resolution. Everything maxed out except for the filtering. But again, it's because this game is hefty, hefty, hefty. So that's what it's at. Very high is the ultra on this game. It's no ultra, it's just very high. Uh, I just disabled anti-aliasing because we're at 1080p anyway. So let's just uh, tilt the camera so we can see the frames better. I mean, it's 40. Sometimes, depends on You know, I mean, it's still very playable. But this is practically maxed out. So, you know, the frames per second go anywhere from 30 to 60. As you can see. But still, I mean, <laughs> it's more than playable. Of course, you could turn the graphics settings down if you wanted to get 60 frames per second. I don't really need 60 frames per second on Crisis 3. Very... So we're 60 here, in the hallways and stuff. So, anyway, that's just that. But again, it's more than playable. All right, well, I hope you enjoyed, guys. Thanks.